she basically examined me and she noticed it. She was like, okay. And so they measured it with like a tape or whatever. She also asked me other questions like, do you have any family history of breast cancer or like, um, you know, stuff like that. And I was like, no. And she was like, oh, well, you're young. That's kind of weird. Hey, guys. Welcome to my channel. Um, I hope you're all doing great. So today, um, I'm just going to be doing a couple of stuff, you know. I have been wanting to record this video that I'm, the like, whole thing I want to talk about today. I've been wanting to record this video since, like, past few days. But I have been so busy. And besides that, like, besides, like, classes and work and everything, I literally have no energy whatsoever. Like, the night before a day, like, before I sleep, I'm like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to do this. I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that and then I wake up in the morning and it's like there's literally no energy whatsoever to do anything and it's like even classes I have to like lay in bed and be in zoom <laughs> I'll be in zoom in my bed cuz mm -mm. I don't know there's just like so little energy to do anything I don't know why that is even though I'm home but anyways so what I'm doing is I just finished working and classes for the day and it's evening time so I decided to make my video now but first of all I want to get some pizza because I haven't had food all day and um, I actually was having a dream last night where I think I was about to have pizza so I'm like okay I'm just gonna get pizza today because first of all I can't even cook anything right now I'm just so tired I'm just gonna get pizza and then I can you know eat what I feel and then um, I wanted to show you guys something where is that so I'm actually learning to play the flute isn't that so amazing so I'm learning to play the flute. I just started, so I haven't really, you know, I haven't learned a lot yet. But um, I've always wanted to learn to play the flute since I was a kid. Like, I used to watch this. I don't know if you guys know Women of Faith, but it's this like women's music group, and I grew up listening to them a lot. And then there was this one little girl that like played the flute on there one time, and since then I've just always wanted to learn to play the flute. So. I never learned it and I remember when I was a kid I told my sister my big sister to buy me a flute but obviously <laughs> she didn't know what I meant I guess like she probably thought because obviously flutes are expensive so she probably was thinking oh it's something little and she got me a recorder <sighs> if I want a recorder <sighs> Because she was, like, I was in Nigeria and she was not in Nigeria. So I thought that, okay, it would be easier for her to get it. And so I was like, if I wanted a recorder, I would just buy it in Nigeria. But, so she got me a recorder and that was just so funny. But I still liked it because, like, I used to have, like, my recorder in school. And my own was, like, really cute and stuff like that. But that's by the way. So I am learning to play the flute. The goal is to be able to play literally anything I want. So we'll see how that goes later. But right now, I think I'm just gonna like, I wanna dress up a little bit because I've been wearing PJs all day. So I'm gonna weigh something and you know, look put together and then record the video. Like just talk with you guys um, about what's been going on. Yeah, I'm just gonna go get dressed, order the pizza and then get right into the video. I mean, we're into the video, but you know, get into details. <laughs> See you guys, so I'm on Papa John's website right now. Did you guys know that they actually sell, like Papa John's actually sells fish pizza? A lot of people don't. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know that, so I don't know if it's like, you know, popular um, information, but I didn't know that and I found out and I'm like, that's usually what I get now because I try to avoid eating meat. So, um, yeah, I'm getting um, the fish pizza. And so the kind of fish they use is actually like anchovies, like tiny, tiny um, bits of fish. And one thing I don't like about it though, it's like that fish is known for being salty. So it's usually like saltier than you want, you know, but I'm just gonna try again and see. I've only had it twice. So I'm just gonna try again and see if it's gonna be better than what I've always bought. But I'm just gonna get half and half, like, half cheese and then half anchovies pizza 
so I'm excited because I haven't had pizza in a long time. Okay, let's uh, let's see my history. I would do carry out, but I don't feel like going anywhere, so I'm just going to do delivery. Eventually. Hey guys, so I'm back and I decided to sweet things up like I said and that's because, you know, I've always been home this whole period and I've not really had the opportunity to like dress up or whatever. So I was like, okay, let me just do something cute, you know, for the video. And I got my Coke for my pizza. Shoot, that's almost frozen, but yeah, I don't like that I don't have my straw here. I don't know where I kept it. This is frozen, guys. Super frozen. I didn't want it to stay in that long, but whatever. So, you know, basically I'm not doing much, just a little chit chat session and eating, of course. Yay, garlic sauce. Oh gosh, I'm too lazy to go like heat this up. Let's see if that would work. I don't care, I'm just gonna eat it like that. So, I just heated up my garlic sauce because it was a little too thick. <clears throat> so, I had to melt some of that. I don't know why this pizza looks dry, but I guess we'll take it. I only did light cheese. I didn't do light sauce. So, I don't know why the sauce is so almost not there. Mmm. I wanted to just talk about what I've been up to and as you can see in the title some things that came up so um, as you can see in the title it's kind of weird you know but I like I think it was like two weeks ago or thereabout I noticed a lump in my breast in one of them of course Immediately I saw that I was like what the heck is this like That's weird and that's why it's very important to know your body to know What your body feels like and stuff because you get to notice when anything feels or looks wrong. So, um, I Noticed that and I compared it to the other one and there was nothing in the other one And I just kept looking and looking there was nothing in the other one And that's another weird stuff because when you notice that there's something wrong with one and the other one is fine or is looking fine then you gotta make sure you get that checked so i decided that i was just gonna call the hospital real quick because you don't waste time with stuff like that you know so i called them and then i decided to book an appointment i told them everything i was wrong on the phone so that they know how how like i guess urgent it is so um they were like okay um which one is it blah 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 and it's so weird talking about this because like this is a very personal issue to me you know talking about like your buddy but then i thought like i mean it's better to just like talk about it and remind people to be aware and it can literally be anybody because especially when you're young you literally think that oh it can't be me and like and you also think like oh i don't really need to look out for stuff like that because i'm young and stuff like that but guys it doesn't work like that because as much as it's very important to like be positive it's also very important to be cautious and like the percentage of young people who have stuff like this like even though it's really little it's still somebody so it could be anybody and it's very important to make sure that it's not gonna be you so um yeah and so they were like yeah blah 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 we're gonna book you in for this day and so the day came and um it was like uh probably like a week after I don't know if it was up to a week or so, but basically they gave me a date and time. I don't like talking when I'm eating. I'm like, I can talk, but no when food is in my mouth. But anyways. So, um, I went there and then the doctor was like um yeah we're gonna first of all she asked me questions about it she was like okay what does it feel like and blah 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 which side is it on and 
usually they ask you stuff like that on the phone maybe if you booked an appointment but she still asked me to be sure and so she was like okay i'm gonna get you checked and so she gave me like a like paper vest thing to put on and she left the room and so i put it on and then she came back and then um yeah she basically examined me and she noticed that she was like okay and so they measured it with like a tape or whatever and then she was like okay um we're gonna book you an ultrasound and for you to um get it checked and uh um you know she was just asking me all the questions like okay guys by the way <laughs> today like my energy level is really low so that's why i'm just like really really calm and whatever but i'm just gonna take the story so um she also asked me other questions like do you have any family history of breast cancer or like um you know stuff like that and i was like no and she was like oh well you're young that's kind of weird but we're just gonna get it checked and i was like okay so i was like this is not really you know conclusive so i'm just gonna look forward to the ultrasound so they told me i was gonna send my information over to the hospital the bigger hospital that does ultrasounds and stuff so i was like okay cool and so um <clears throat> i went home and stuff and then a few days later the hospital called me the bigger hospital for the ultrasound they gave me a date and time to come in and so um i was like okay cool great i was kind of excited but i was also scared guys because see if you look at the machine if you google it and you look at the machine or if you've ever done an ultrasound uh, a mammogram before or you look, you've looked it up before if you look at the machine it's so weird the machine presses your <laughs> Presses your breast like this and see for people who have big boobs Usually, I mean it would be uncomfortable, but I guess it wouldn't really hurt. But if you're small I cannot imagine how this is gonna compress it <laughs> Gonna compress your boobs and stuff. So I was kind of scared because I've always thought like I wouldn't want to do that or go through that so um I looked it up and then I remember I noticed that they kept saying the word ultrasound ultrasound rather than mammogram but I thought they were the same thing so I still looked it up I was like breast ultrasound because I already knew what mammogram looked like I was like breast ultrasound so it didn't look anything like it the one I saw was like they just put something on your chest to like look at it or you know different things that have nothing to do with them pressing it like the mammogram but I was still like oh god please I hope not and that reminds me you guys when all of this was happening where I was waiting to um, go get checked. When I noticed that, and over time I was like, wait, let me even, you know, talk to God about this. So I, um, I did pray about it. You know, I laid hands on myself and I was like, hey, you get out of here because I don't care whether I'm young or whatever, whatever. Like, I just don't want this in my body. So I prayed and I really just believed that it was going to go. And then. I still felt a lot, but I was like, what, what is this, you know, but I still didn't let that get to me. Like, sometimes I would be like, ooh, it would come to my mind, but I would try to not remember, like, not pay attention to the fact that this is there, not let it get to me. And so I just believed that I um it was going to be fine. And then I also told God, I was like, God, I don't know what you're doing. Like, I don't know why I prayed and this thing is still here right now, but I trust that you're going to do the best thing and that... I believe that when I go there even though I can still feel it when I go there that it's going to be neutral like it's not gonna be something harmful it's gonna be benign and so it was a time for the appointment and so I went to the hospital and you know checked it and everything the lady was really really nice she was like hey my name is this I'm gonna be checking you today so she gave me like a rope thing to go change into and it's so funny guys because I was wearing a romper I don't know what I didn't think about it. I only thought about the fact that the romper was easy to like take off, but I didn't think about the fact that I would actually have to take it off. So, but that's okay because all I had to do was take off the top part and then wear the vest dress thing and the down was still there. So you wanna make sure you wear the right thing if you're ever in that position. So um, I went in, I changed to the robe thing and I was like, okay, yeah. 
and so i went out and then she was like yeah so you're just gonna lay in the bed and then so it wasn't the mammogram it wasn't none of the pressing things so it was like um there was the machine it was kind of looking like what you would see like pregnancy ultrasounds look like where they have like a screen to like look at it and then they have like this really like it's like a whatever thing to like move around just like a pregnancy it looked like what i see in like pregnancy tests pregnancy ultrasound videos so there was this thing that would move around on your like chest area and so they didn't look at the screen so i laid in there and then she was like okay which side can you show me where and i showed her and then she started locating it and then she felt it and then she was like okay and so she wanted to make sure that she was on the right spot and while all of this was happening she was talking to me and she was like when she first felt it she was like okay it's kind of movable which is a good thing because usually harmful tumors don't move they're usually more stationary obviously there will be cases where it can be movable and still harmful but she was like they're usually stationary and very hard and solid and just wouldn't move so she was like the fact that my way is like movable was a good thing i was like okay then um she was looking and she was always like she was also like um usually i'll be able to tell you right now if it's something that looks suspicious because like even though there's the doctor that would actually tell me what it really is that she can tell because she's done this for a long time and she's worked with a doctor and stuff like that i was like okay good because i don't want to have to wait like i don't want to have to wait till later and then like oh this is what it is i want to know right now so she looked at it and she was looking and she was like it's looking normal like it just she was then explaining to me that sometimes our bodies change and I it might not the change might not occur in both sides and that if you're a person that will have this kind of change in your like body that you will already start to see it from like a younger age and so she was kind of explaining to me she was looking at the screen and then showing me what was on there and obviously to me it didn't make sense but she had to explain to me for it to make sense and she was like oh these are your lungs blah 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 and this is like your breast tissue and stuff like that so she was just explaining everything to me and she was like everything was looking good and that um there's nothing wrong that it's just a change in my body and that it could also have something to do with the fact that you know i went on accutane so things like that can like influence your body hormones and then affect the way your breasts react to that but it's not like a negative thing it's just more of a body change so i was like okay thank god because you know i just wanted to know and then at that moment i wasn't even thinking about the fact that i prayed about this i just was like oh thank god you know i wasn't like too worried in the first place but it was just nice to hear that like everything was fine especially at that moment like i didn't have to wait or go back home and wait till, like day days later to get a call or something like on my that. way back when i was driving that was when i was because i was playing some like um worship music in a car and then i was it, it just like clicked to my mind and i was like oh wait i actually did pray about this and at that moment i was actually listening to thank you by maverick music maverick city music and the name of the song like i said was thank you and i was like oh yeah god like thank you because i did pray about this and this turned out to be good i was like i don't care if it's oh like uh it just happened to be the case well it happened to be the case and then god is in charge of my life so yes thank you god because i prayed about this and it turned out to be neutral it turned out to not be harmful because hey how you just develop a lump in your body like that's just so weird so i just happy and then i drove back home guys i've not been eating <laughs> pretty much that was my experience and um i think it's just very very important for ladies and even guys like guys i know guys have to get like their prostrate thing prostrate prostrate cancer check <laughs> whatever prostrate cancer check and all of these things it doesn't matter if you're young it's very important to take changes very seriously so for me i just had to do that to make sure that i was fine my pizza is very crispy <laughs> that's because i like my stuff all crispy if you guys remember my brand video it was really brown and crispy the anchovies fish is still very salty oh my god when that coke hits you in your head <laughs> but yes guys like i said 
it's very important to get yourself checked if you notice any change in your body and even if you don't as a lady when you're i think 21 you have to start getting pap smear tests and then at a certain age i can't remember what age but you have to start getting like mammograms and stuff but i think that's much later but for um the pap smear it's very important to get that done and i've never done one but i need to make an appointment to um you know get one done i'm actually very nervous about it because it's just so weird to like open your body up to a stranger but i have to do it and i'm gonna definitely do it with a female doctor because mm -mm, i ain't doing that with no male doctor i don't feel comfortable about that so um yeah when i was at the doctor the whole conversation came up about like getting pap smear and stuff like that because all of these things are very important so you ladies make sure you get that done and then for guys make sure you start getting your prostate cancer checks and stuff like that so that you can be sure to like take care of yourself and then if it's anything you can catch it really early so um yeah that's all that happened and um i've not been able to eat my pizza as much because i'm talking I think that's pretty much all I want to talk about today and um, if you have any question about what I talked about please comment in the comment section so make sure you like comment subscribe and all that good stuff so I need to go finish my pizza because I've just been talking so I'll see you guys in my next video bye